Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about the active link using router link active in Angular 50. And what is the use of the router link active? Now for an example, when we go on the browser and we click on any tab, so currently we are not able to identify like which tab is active. So to see like which tab is currently active or to highlight a particular tab, we use this router link active. So let's implement it how we do. So for uh, that, let's go to the style.css and here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a CSS through that we are going to change the color. So let's change the background color and anything we can give up. For an example, I'm giving the blue. So that is the first thing we have to do. Now next thing in the HTML side, we, for giving uh, the color, what we have to do, like basically we have to use the router link app attribute directory so router link active uh, direct attribute directive is basically enable us to like active or highlight the active uh, bar so let's see how we implement it so now i'm using it in an uh, like a square bracket so router link active and here what we have to do we have inside the uh, like single quote we have to give that CSS name and that CSS name we have given as an active if you are using the square bracket then we have to use the single uh, quotes if you are not using it in the uh, like uh, square bracket then we can directly give in the uh, like double quotes only so now let's copy this one and give it for all so let's uh, sign it for all and now let's save it and go on the browser let's go on the browser and currently we are on the default path if i will click on home we can see it is highlighting like currently we are on the home page if i click on the student teacher or contact us so this is the way we can highlight a particular uh, like tab if we want so this is the way we use the router link active and it help us to basically active uh, the bar which we are using now here if you want to assign a multiple classes that also you can assign now for an example class two like this we can assign if you you want to assign the multiple uh, like classes to particular router link active now there is a one more thing now for an example here instead of this home here what i gave router link as an empty if i will get router uh, uh, link as an empty now what is happening let's go on the browser and see currently we are on the teacher uh, page okay let's uh, first let's go on the uh, default page and we can see by default it is on the home page when i click on the teacher uh, we can see still it is highlighting to the home also and the contact it is highlighting to the home also and the reason is basically we are currently we have given the uh, empty path and it is redirecting and the empty path is basically redirecting to the home component and here it is the default uh, this is the 4200 uh, is the default directory or the uh, url of this application that's why this home page is always active now to get rid of this uh, kind of the problem what we have to do here there is a one more uh, attribute we have and that attribute name is basically router link active option so router link active option now options so and here again we have to give the value to this one and that is basically what we have to use we have to use exact exact and that we have to give the true so now let's save it and go on the browser if i will go on the browser currently we are on the contact us page and we can see home is not highlighted if i will click on the home we are on the, like it is highlighted to the home and if i will click on the student now we can see it is not highlighting to the home so this is the way of using the router link active and router link active options so uh, like uh, router link active is basically help us to um, uh, see like currently which uh, bar is the active and router link active option is basically help us if we have given the router link uh, uh, as in uh, default and to like at a time to highlight one bar we use the router link active option so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you